20 questions with Jake Wardle. Hi Jake, how are you? I'm good, thanks mate. How are you? Yeah, I'm very good, man. Okay, let's go straight into it. All right. Question one. If you could have dinner with one famous uh, person, alive or dead, who would it be and why? <laughs> I haven't had dinner with David Lynch yet. Well, it's about time you did. <laughs> I haven't had dinner with him, so yeah. Well then, dinner with David. <laughs> David, that sounds cool. And why would that be? I mean, there's lots of reasons, I'm sure, but why would that be particularly? Because uh, he's my mate. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good enough. Okay. Um, when was the last time that you cried? Uh, I don't remember. Okay. No. Have you ever bungee jumped? No. <laughs> what was the last song you listened to? My short-term memory is quite bad. Yeah. So I'm going to have a little think. Uh, can we get back to that one? Yeah. Um, favourite colour? Blue and gold. Favourite meal? Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's just say... Let's just say a good old Sunday roast. Good. Uh, sounds good to me. I've never one of them for a long time. Uh, <laughs> are you a morning person? Not usually. No. Okay. Right. Next. Um, on, on the if you had to, if you had to get up for on set or something, obviously you'd have to go in the zone. All right. Favorite film. Uh. Well, I can give you my favorite war film. Okay. We were soldiers. We were soldiers. But I have many favorite films. But if you're talking just about like one genre of film, um, my favorite war film. Okay. Um, favorite childhood toy. Favorite childhood toy. Oh gosh, I had a lot of them. Depending on what period of my childhood we were talking about. Yeah. Um. Well, I don't know. Uh, let's just say my box of Lego. Lego, cool. Yeah, and it's still going strong. Yeah. If you could visit a planet, uh, which one would it be, and why? Um, I guess it would be Mars, really, because that's like the big red planet, isn't it? That's the one everyone's talking about, and that's the one which might have some interesting history, because um, there appears to be evidence that there was once water there, so, you know, that really gets my imagination going, if, the, if Mars was once like Earth a long time ago. Who knows what we might find if we dig deeper. Yeah, that's true. Um, tea, coffee, or neither? tea but I do have coffee if I need to wake up yeah <laughs> the beach or the woods beach or the woods Ooh. I guess it does depend on my mood but I'd say normally the woods if you were stuck on a desert island what one item would you like to have with you <laughs> the kind of classic <laughs> one, isn't it yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess uh, it might be cheating a bit, but like a phone with a, a satellite signal. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want much, do you? <laughs> um, what annoys you? What is it? Uh, many things. Um, let's just say I don't like. I don't like it when. People beat their horn of me in traffic. Wait, but like, but if I've done nothing wrong, they're just impatient and they beat me. I don't like that too. Don't really annoy me. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever eaten a really hot pepper? Not uh, I've eaten little peppers, but not like a proper big hot one. No. no. Um, a country that you'd like to visit that you haven't already. Australia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> any particular any particular part or just generally? Ah, anywhere, mate. I don't know. As long as I'm around, I am not keep on the Are you a dog or cat person? Dog. I love cats too, but absolutely dog all the way. I've got two dogs. Yeah. Always love dogs. Yeah, 100%. What is your preferred alcoholic beverage? Guinness. Ah, good man. 
what uh, um, and what mo- what motivates you each day? Oh, um, well, I found my purpose in life, which is to entertain and to be entertained. So it all boils down to that. Really. Do you think that dreams have meanings? Um. Yes and no. So it's a yes and no answer. And it's uh, a lot of dreams are quite random, especially my dreams. I mean, a lot of them don't make sense. But then, other dreams are well. They they usually relate to something that's been going on in your life. So in that sense, they do have meaning in that way, the ones that have those references to what you've been doing. And in fact, even if you're in a deep sleep um, and something happens like in the real world, say for example, in a phone, phone rings or something, it can often get incorporated into your dream. I've had that actually, where something's been happening and it's been incorporated into my dream and then that very sound has woken me up. So, you know, I guess there's meaning in, in, in that sense. But then in another way, completely random nonsense that I've dreamed. I wake up and I think, what the... <laughs> what on earth is that all about? <laughs> um, um, and also, I once had a dream um, that it felt, felt like it was um, a, a past life. Um, and it was, the, it was the strangest dream I've ever had. Um, and it was the most realist dream I've ever had. Uh, and it's really stuck in my head. I had it probably a couple of years back. And I had a dream that I was actually someone else. Because normally I just dream about being either me in the first or third person, or just watching other people and not being involved. But this one, I was this other person. I was actually him. I was some middle-aged man in the 1940s in World War II. I was a spy and was good at languages and accents and um, uh, I did, um, I was sort of, I was like an entertainer but I was a spy and I pretended to be an entertainer and uh, there was these German soldiers and uh, officer um, and I was doing kind of some stand-up comedy in the German language with a perfect German accent, even though I was British. Uh, and, well, and I was, I was doing a Russian accent in the German language and making fun of the Russians and all the German soldiers were like laughing and saying how good I was at accents and shaking my hand and everything. And then when they when they went away, I snuck upstairs and nicked some documents. And I don't know. It was the most realistic dream I ever had. And to this day, I wonder. I mean, it sounds silly, but I, you know, I've never had a dream like it before or since. Never been so vivid. Never been so real. And it does make me wonder um, if reincarnation is real. Um, I've been actually looking into reincarnation a lot, um, and I believe it's quite likely. I'm not 100% on it yet. I still need to do more research, but I believe it's quite likely. And um, and that dream I had, it's, it's never, it's never gone away. It's, it's was it was really odd, really really realistic. I mean, I know all dreams feel real when you're dreaming. Them, yeah. But this one, like I said, it was unlike any other before or since. I really can't explain it. Um, so, yeah. And we have to go back to a question. What was that one we I asked you earlier? Oh, yeah, what was the last song you listened to? I listened to a few, I can't remember which was which order I listened to them. Uh, yeah, which order? So, uh, let's think. What was it? So I listened to a parody song as well. It's not an attack count. You can mention it. Huh? You can mention it if you like, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I listen to a lot of parody songs as well because I like comedy so I watched uh, any of you have heard of the character on the internet called Devo he's like a, takes the mick out of like that typical northern English chap and I think that was the last song I listened to Devo's Donny Soldier I'm not sure because I think there was another one like I said my short term memory is bad and, and I can't remember the order in which I listened to things 
Yeah, okay. That's a tricky one, yeah. <laughs> like I said, the order in my head is all mixed up, so I don't know what, what the last one was. I just remember the last Arab thing. I just told her. If you look that up, it's, it's really funny. I will, I will have a, I'll have a look at that, yeah. I'm always open to looking at new stuff. Never time, mate, like, proper, like, Northern Champs. <laughs> 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 Sounds good. I'm going to have to, I'm gonna, I'll check it out, Jake, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, we've actually. I, I, did, I, did, I do listen to the Twin Peaks songs as well, uh, quite often. Because I think it, the, this season had a great soundtrack. So, um, the look was uh, uh, Lark, Au revoir, Simone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. i got to have a listen to them again because I haven't had a listen for a while. Was, I think that's my favourite, actually, Lark, Au revoir, Simone. Lark. Because I remember mm. that being played while I was on set. Yeah. And when I heard it, it wasn't actually in one of my episodes that they put it in, they put it in the end of episode three. And when I heard it, it's like, oh, that's the song that was playing on set. Oh, it stuck in my head all the time. <laughs> I could finally look it up and yeah. listen to it whenever I wanted. So. That's cool. Yeah, the albums are doing well too. Loads of people are get, getting those soundtrack albums now. Mm, yeah. That's brilliant music in that show. Really, yeah. Really good choice. Some of the old stuff is just still thrown in there as well, the old themes yeah. as well, as well as new stuff. Yeah. I'm really glad as well in terms of the, the Twin Peaks theme theme music. I'm really glad that it hasn't changed because it was perfect. It was. They kept the original. I didn't tinker with it. I, I thought can, it was brilliant. I can meditate to that music. It is good. It is really good for the soul. That stuff. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but Jake, we, that is the twenty questions with. We've wrapped up already. Or that quick. Yeah, I should have done fifty. <laughs> well, it wasn't that perfect. Because I sort of muddled up with the art song. But yeah. Yeah. So we're all done, and I appreciate your time doing this, Jake. It's been a pleasure talking to you with um, you too, and asking you these things. Um, and we'll all set to see you soon at the yeah. Twin Peaks UK Fest. Definitely. Yeah, that's going to be well good. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again there, there as well. So right. that'd be great. All right, man. You take it easy, and um, thanks, guys, for listening as well. We'll be back soon with more Twenty Questions with. Until then, bye. Yeah.